Hello my dear friends and specially ICC 2022 batch. Class as a basis of all computation is one of the important chapters in the first semester of ICC 2022. Keeping in mind the students need in this crucial period of exam transition mode, A Shiksha has tried its level best to cater to those students who need help in learning computer applications for ICC 2022 board exam. As it is a large chapter, videos will be uploaded serially as part 1, part 2 and so on. So without delay, let us enjoy this session and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell notification for all my upcoming videos on this topic that is class as a basis of all computation. So here is the first question. All objects are classified under specific dash. Number one programs, number two packages, number three classes and number four is libraries. The correct answer is classes. All objects are classified under specific classes. Question number two is an action that an entity performs is called one actions, number two behavior or operations, number three attributes, number four characteristics. An action that an entity performs is called behavior. We often call it also operations. So the correct answer is number two. So the next question is question number three. Zen, Eco Sports, Centro, Corolla, etc. are objects of car class. Create an object called Toyota of the car class. The syntax for creating object is class name, object name is equal to new constructor name and then parenthesis open and close. Keep in mind the class name and the constructor name are the same. So here you have got the four options. The last one class name is car Toyota is the object, new, car, car name and class name, that is constructor name and the class name are the same. So the fourth answer is right. Question 4. As a class describes an infinite set of individual objects, so class is called dash. Options are object factory, object industry, object manufacturer, object production factory. We call class as an object factory. Therefore, answer 1 is right. Question number 5 is, dash is the data value held by the objects of a class. Abstraction, number 2, attribute, 3, behavior. For this operation answer is attribute you can call them characteristics also you can call them data also okay by different name when you talk about software terms you call it data so attribute is a data value held by the objects of a class question number six is this is very simple the other name of method is dash. The four options are there. The correct answer would be function. Methods are also called functions. Okay. Question number seven is, which one is not the characteristics of an object? First one, identity. An object has its own identity, even if they have same attributes. Classification. Objects with same attribute are grouped together. Third one is 
This can be touched and seen. Fourth one is an object can acquire the properties of another object. Students, now the four characteristics of an object are identity, classification, inheritance and polymorphism. So here the third answer is wrong. These can be touched and seen. Question number eight is a static member variable can be accessed in static methods without associating with an object. Suppose in the class wrapper you have declared some static variables and if you try to access them from the main method without creating object you can access them. Therefore the answer is true. Question number nine is binding and wrapping up the methods and the data together is called this is simple this is called encapsulation all other options are there but the correct answer would be encapsulation question number 10 is state attribute characteristic means data in a java program option 1 is yes option 2 is no the correct answer is yes state attribute characteristics in real world we mean it but the same thing we present as data in a java program question 11 is behavior method function operation they all mean the same thing only option 1 is yes option 2 is no the correct answer is yes. We know that methods are also called functions. Sometimes we call it as an operation also. You know, Java class implements its behavior through methods. So behavior, method, function, operation, they all mean function only in Java. Question 12 is hiding unnecessary details and showing the essential features is called inheritance, abstraction, number 3, encapsulation and number 4 is polymorphism. The correct answer is abstraction. Question 13 is two objects communicate with each other by passing SMS, messages, number three, objects, number four, values. The correct answer is messages. Question 14 is code reusability is the advantage of dash in Java. Number one, inheritance. Number two, Abstraction, number three, encapsulation, number four, polymorphism. Inheritance. Code reusability is the advantage of inheritance in Java. Question number 15 is, through function overloading, Java implements dash. The correct answer is polymorphism. Question number 16 is Dash promotes data hiding and data abstraction facilities in OPS. The four options are inheritance, abstraction, encapsulation and polymorphism. So Dash promotes data hiding and data abstraction facilities in OPS would be encapsulation. Question number 17 is, what is not true about a class? It is an abstract data type. It is a composite data type. It is a reference data type. It is a primitive data type. 
So what is not true? The fourth one. Class is a non-primitive data type or abstract type, composite, reference, whatever you call it. But it is not a primitive data type. So answer 4 is correct. Question number 18 is, which principle of OP allows a function to be used for more than one purpose? Inheritance, abstraction, encapsulation, polymorphism. So the correct answer would be polymorphism. Question number 19 is, what is not true about Java. It uses both compiler and interpreter. This is yes. It is true. Java uses both compiler and interpreter. It is a case sensitive language. Yes. To Java, small s and capital S, they are treated differently. Java is a platform independent language also. So, what is not true is it is a space sensitive language and question number 20 is are the identifiers uppercase sum and title case sum mean the same in java state the reason yes they are the same no as java is case sensitive language number three no as it is an object-oriented programming language and number four is no as Java is type sensitive language answer would be number two no Java is case sensitive language question number 21 dash is the process of linking a function call with a function signature at runtime the four options are static initialization, static binding, dynamic initialization, and dynamic binding. Dynamic binding is the correct answer. Question number 22 is source code is translated into dash after compilation. Number one, object code number two native executable code number three machine code number four byte code the correct answer would be byte code number four question number 23 is the source code numbers dot java is converted into dash after compilation children all of you know that the source code that is the program that you have written in English language after compilation a code is generated so what would be the extension of that particular file the first name will remain the same numbers will remain the same what would be the extension numbers.text numbers.doc numbers.class or numbers.exe it is numbers.class this is very important this is your byte code this makes java a platform independent language question number 24 is the original name of java is c c hash ruby op this is very easy the correct answer is op so here comes today's last question that is question number 25 the name of the java interpreter is number one jdk jdk's work is given there you just see it is a component used to compile, debug, and execute the program. BlueJ, it is an environment or IDE consisting of an editor, debugger, and viewer. 
JVM is actually Java Virtual Machine which converts bytecode into machine code. And finally, JRE. This component is responsible to execute a program. So out of this four, the correct answer is JVM, Java Virtual Machine. This converts bytecode into machine code. Thank you so much for watching this video. Keep watching and keep learning. We will be back soon with another set of interesting questions from this chapter. So keep learning. Thank you so much.